So my lab um, uses zebrafish as a cancer model. And um, one of the unique attributes of zebrafish is that you can look inside the fish and actually see individual cells if you fluorescently tag them with different proteins. So um, using that approach, we were able to make cancers that were multicolor. And you could actually just look inside and be able to image different cell compartments. So with that in mind, we actually were able to identify a tumor propagating cell that some people call a cancer stem cell that was able to give rise to the cancer um, as we transplanted it. But we were also able to label the more differentiated cells contained within the tumor. And what we found was that it's paradoxically, it is the more differentiated cells that are the metastatic cell type, whereas the more um, immature cells or the cells that have the cancer stem cell phenotype were not the first cells to seed new areas of tumor growth. Again, in the field, people have thought that if there are different populations that um, have the ability to make tumor, those would be the cell types that land somewhere first to colonize new areas of tumor growth. And so everybody has focused in on trying to identify that cell population. And then, moreover, they've, they've thought that if I could specifically kill that cell, that, that, that the tumors wouldn't come back. But it ends up that, at least in our tumors in zebrafish, that that cell population is not the only cell population that's important. And that the more differentiated cells, like I said, are the ones that go somewhere and cause the tumors to regrow. So really the idea is that you need to target both cell populations in order for the tumors to go away. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's zebrafish. Um, so what we have to do is um, extend our findings to human and see if uh, the same broad uh, types of uh, things are observed. Um, but we think that this division of cell labor um, is going to be a common theme in cancers in general. So I think the next steps for us are to um, try to figure out how it is that those cells are migrating and what are the types of molecular mechanisms that are driving this. Um, one of the other things that we're still incredibly fascinated by is that although those cells are the migratory cell type, they can't make cancer. So how is it that one of these cells that is metastatic lands somewhere and then recruits slow-moving stem cells over time. So there must be some chemotactic types of things or things that allow the cells to migrate, some types of molecules. And so we're really interested in trying to understand that.